Antlerless or bead licenses are offered to hunters as a way of managing the abundance of deer in a given hunting district. Here as recently as 2009, Montana was offering over 37,000 licenses for antlerless mule deer across the state. Last year, just four years later, the number of licenses available had dropped 70% to about 10,000. In 2014, licenses for antlerless mule deer have been generally eliminated. So we had some very severe winters during 2009-10 and then during 10-11, and those greatly impacted mule deer populations. Uh, for white-tailed deer, during the past few years, Montana's experienced outbreaks of VHD, epizootic hemorrhagic disease. It's transmitted by a biting gnat, and it's fatal to any white-tailed deer that becomes infected. There have been substantial EHD die-offs in regions five and six, and then this past year there was additional mortality in regions four, five, and six. And so the commission considered all of those factors and elements in the final adoption, which occurred at the February commission meeting. For mule deer, the general season over most of Montana, with few exceptions, will be buck only and bee licenses are eliminated from most hunting districts in the state. Again, there are some exceptions to that as well associated with game damage. For white-tailed deer, bee licenses were eliminated in regions four and six and part of region five, and those are areas that were affected by EHD mortality over the past few years. With these adjustments to hunting seasons, white-tailed deer and mule deer are expected to rebound fairly quickly to long-term averages, with weather, disease, and impacts from predation to be the determining factors. This is Mike Grunett, out with Montana's Fish, Wildlife, and Parks.